This is the ASUS VivoBook S16 S5606. And just look at it. What you get is a stunning 16 inch of 3.2K display. It's just gorgeous. That's a USP man. You also get this sleek, rugged design and that reliable performance courtesy Intel. All right, now before we go all gaga about the display, let me talk about the performance. Because performance is very important. I mean, you don't have to watch the film, you don't have to watch the right? So let me talk about the performance. Powering this is the Intel Core Ultra 7 processor. There is a variant with the Ultra 9 processor as well. A very competent processor. And that along with the Intel AI Boost NPU will make your processing even better. The Intel graphics with AI support will also ensure that performance is top-notch it will basically ensure that the memory allocation is done in the best manner possible right so your daily operations will be smooth and easy like a hot knife on butter you will face no issues whatsoever you can work on all those web-based applications excel watch a video oh videos are a delight but yes we also did a fair amount of work on adobe photoshop did a bit of video editing as well and it was great. Gaming, yes, some people like to use their laptop as a gaming laptop as well, whereas it's not a hardcore gaming laptop, but you can play those easy peasy games. Uh, we went a little overboard and uh, tried to play Need for Speed and Witcher 3. But yeah, of course, we could see those frame drops and it wasn't a nice experience. So let's not push it there because if we do, after 15 20 minutes, we started facing heating issues because they are just two fans and uh, yeah they were trying to do their best but could not dissipate the whole heat but the thing is as soon as we stopped the cooling came into effect and it cooled down pretty fast as well but some heating issues and now let's talk about the display so what you get is a 16 inch of 3.2k oled display which is like i said stunning also you get 100 percent dci p3 color gamut which means color accuracy and like i said especially when you are video editing or creating some digital art you get what you see right which is very important and that makes a whole lot of difference watching videos is definitely a delight i mean look at this 8k video we were just watching look at the details the clarity the colors stunning is the word also you can play around with the colors going to the control center what you get is a full size keyboard which is massive and honestly it took me 15 minutes to sort of get adjusted to the whole typing experience yeah it just felt that the keys have gone haywire but that's not the case after some time it was smooth breezy the keyboards are very tactile and i really love the backlit keyboard which by the way you can again adjust color you know adjust those lighting as per your liking so that is great. Also, you get a 1080p webcam, which is pretty cool. And also, you can make use of those AI features. And uh, that will help you with those frame rates and blurring the backgrounds and a couple of other things. So that is great. What you don't get is a fingerprint sensor to unlock. So you can unlock this via the infrared camera. Face unlock, that works pretty well. And uh, yeah, for privacy purposes, you can just shut that shutter. Now let's talk about the build quality because it's important. It's a big laptop and uh, you know, you sometimes you get the impression that being big, it's going to be flimsy, it's going to bend at places and you will lose all your money. But that's not the case, be assured. It weighs just 1.5 kilograms and uh, we're looking at a thickness of just 1.39 centimeters, which is thin and the build quality is tough and rugged. We're talking about military grade stuff, man. I mean, don't bend it deliberately, but otherwise it can take those tumbles and scratches and those falls. So be assured, it's uh, tough not to crack. And like I said, it's a big laptop, so you'll have to make arrangement for its storage. See if it fits your laptop bag before you buy it. Get a new laptop bag. Let me talk about the connectivity option now. So what do you get? Two Gen Type A, you get two Thunderbolt, four with display power delivery support, one HDMI 2.1, one 3.5 mm combo audio jack and a micro SD card reader as well. All right, battery. So you get a 75 watt of battery, lithium ion battery, and uh, the company claims around 15, 16 hours, but in real life, you could only manage to get eight to nine hours with our regular usage and top it that with some gaming and video watching. It drops to around 
three hours. But otherwise, the regular usage, eight to nine hours. It's pretty cool, man. It's, it's decent. Also, the thing to note is that you get 16 GB of RAM, which is uh, LPDDR5, which is solder. So you really can't expand it. So that's an issue. Also, there is no dedicated graphic card. But besides that, overall, it's a good proposition. The display is stunning, like I said. The build quality is good. The performance is reliable. So overall, it's a perfect laptop for working professionals and for creators and for working creators like us. I could not become an influencer because I get easily influenced, man.